90% of colon cancer cases are people over the age of 50. But that means there are also 10% of patients who unfortunately battle cancer as very young men. That's what happened to Ryan Lewis, who just in his 20s ended up with a colon cancer diagnosis. Well, I started feeling sick around 2012. I was living in the United Kingdom, London, studying towards my graduate degree. And I just started, you know, losing weight, sweating at night. And then I came back to the States for Christmas break. And, you know, my parents, they just looked at me and said, you, you look sick. So I went back to school, um, still wasn't feeling well. Uh, still losing rapid weight, lost about 30 pounds. Maybe I thought it was just me just getting used to being in a different country, um, eating the different foods. I went to a doctor over there and they said, hey, it's colitis. So for a couple months, I thought I had colitis. Unfortunately, you know, my health, um, I had to withdraw from my graduate studies, move back uh, to the States. So my dad said, let's check out a couple doctors. Let's get yourself checked out. So of course, me being me, um, being an athlete all my life, being tough, I pushed it off. Didn't go to the doctor for a whole year. But my dad said, hey, let's really go get a colonoscopy. You know, your health is important. You have a family now. You know, you need to be around for a long time and just go. Uh, my dad was there, my fiance was there. And sure enough, uh, the doctor comes out and says, hey, you have colon cancer. And I said, what? Like, what do you mean? And I said, let me see the paper. So I saw the paper. Sure enough, he said, hey, you have colon cancer. You know, I was 28 at the time. You know, I was shocked. Yeah, you know, to this day, I still am shocked. Um, you know, just being my age. Hey, Ryan, how are you today? I'm good. Yeah. My dad started researching doctors, and he came across Sharon Stein, a great doctor at UH. I went to her. Got another colonoscopy just to say, hey, is this, is this real? You know, I couldn't believe it. Sure enough, Dr. Stein came back and said, hey, you know, it's stage two colon cancer. What are we gonna do about it? We had a one-on-one -on -one discussion. Nobody was in the room, just me and her. She told me I could beat this. She gave me the confidence that I needed. You know, I owe it all to her as far as just giving me that confidence, encouraging me. She showed me a picture and the cancer was just going to exceed through my wall. Um, so it was actually about to attack my cells um, at the time, but they caught it just in time. You know, I don't know how my body fought it off for those couple years that I was feeling my symptoms, but I'm, I'm really glad, you know, that I caught it. Um, it was a scary time. You know, if, if I didn't go see Dr. Um, Stein, you know, I, I couldn't be around. You know, I wouldn't be around for my family, I wouldn't be around for my son, you know, I wouldn't be around for my fiance. You know, life would pretty much be over for me. Dr. Stein, you know, she pretty much saved my life. Can Daddy have a hug? I, uh, Daddy. Oh, thank you. My perspective on, on colon cancer, the first thing I would tell somebody is don't wait until you're 50. I mean, if you feel anything in your body, you know, go, go get checked. You know, they can't turn you around or turn you away from getting a colonoscopy. Uh, you could be any age um, to go get a colonoscopy. So good day for me now. I was waking up. Uh, always look down at my scar, uh, just to remind me of you know how blessed I'm to be alive. I never you know get down. I'm always positive. Seeing my son in the morning, seeing my fiance in the morning, uh, that's a, that's a, that's a great day for me.